The first time I saw this painting, it made me laugh because it made me think of the Beverly Hillbillies. You just know that there's a mattress in there somewhere that's going to come flying off the land in the roadway. There's a, a childlike comic quality to this painting that you see, particularly in the brilliant colors, um, in the simple geometric shapes of the circles, the windows are rectangles. Um, you also see heavy contour lines or outlines that children use. They draw uh, kind of crude, simple lines and then they fill in. And so this has a very playful childlike quality to it. But this painting is no child's play. There is tremendous sophistication, particularly in the patterning that you see throughout the truck. One of the things that struck me about this painting was the push and pull, the interplay of what we call the negative space or the background and the truck. So as busy and dynamic as the truck is, the background is almost strong enough to pull you away from it. Witness the, the brilliant red-orange down at the bottom and this rich uh, royal blue in this upper right corner. But I'm particularly seduced by the upper left corner, that pink triangle with those beautiful calligraphic uh, rhythms that you see in there. I asked John Himmelfarb about the title, Hero. Well, there's no hero here. There's not even a truck driver. So he told us and explained to us that he was referencing a painting by Pablo Picasso of a woman dressed in a white dress seated on a beach where the negative space or background became almost as important as the figure. And so the title, Hero, is homage to his hero, Pablo Picasso.